Yo, what's going on guys? Nashry here, back with another video, and the summer is coming up, which means it is time for some hockey training. You guys know I've been partnered up with Hockey Shop for a very long time, and they have sent me a ton of products to test out. Well, today, I got a new one at my doorstep that I want to show you guys. Yeah, so you may have seen me use this thing in a couple videos back in the day. It's huge, it's clunky, it's plain, it's boring. Well, we've got an upgrade. That was the hockey Hockey Shot Attack Triangle. This, this right here is the Hockey Shot Extreme Defender. So I figured for today's video I'd pop open this box and hopefully give you an idea of how these products are innovating, the changes we're seeing, and the old versus the new. As a little disclaimer, when I grew up and was training in the summer, I pretty much just tossed random stuff around my garage, skateboards, footballs, basketballs, whatever I could find. I threw it down and just stick handled around it. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot of products around back when I was training, so when I see this thing, I'm actually pretty excited, you know? It, it looks weird, it looks funny, but for me, it gets the job done. I'm excited to see how this new product changes the game. You guys know the drill. First thing we'll do is pop this thing open, assemble it, hopefully get an idea of the build quality and the materials, then we'll take it outside, do a couple tests, and compare the old versus the new. And here we go. This is what the inside is looking like. Looks like we have our stick down here, some stickers and pamphlets here. Let's go ahead and get this thing out and put it together. I take that back. This might be a little bit easier than expected. I think this thing, yeah, this thing comes fully assembled already. All you do is fold the legs out, push down until it clicks, and you are good to start stick handling on this thing. So it's definitely portable, easy to work with, and it looks a lot better than this thing over here. When you get this thing out of the box, this is a piece, this is a piece, this is a piece, this is a piece. You have to put it all together and then you can finally use it. With the Defender, it kind of looks like it was made to transport. You just pop this open, pick it up, it automatically folds and I'm on my way out the door. If you want to take the old triangle on the road, it's going to take a lot of work. That's why pretty much the only time you ever saw this is when I was at my parents' house because I really didn't feel like taking this apart and lugging it around everywhere I go. So you have all these pieces that you need to talk in a backpack or whatever, you still have this giant thing that you need to lug around, which is essentially the same size as this entire system. Even just compare the thickness to the thing, you're dealing with about three times as much space in your car, in your garage, if you want to store this thing. With this, it slides up, it's nice and easy, you can take it wherever you want. Before we get out and test these things at the rink, let's talk about the build quality. There is a huge difference between the new Defender and the Attack Triangle. The old triangle is made of very thin plastic. It wobbles around. If you accidentally hit it with your stick, it's gonna go flying away. Last summer when I started using this thing a whole lot, I got frustrated because if I ever accidentally swiped the stick of the triangle with my actual stick, the thing would just turn and go flying. The new Defender feels a lot more sturdy. It's heavier, it's got nicer plastic and some metal in there as well. So it's gonna be weighted down a bit. If you accidentally hit it with the puck or your stick, it's gonna stay put in place. There are quite a few features that they added to the new Defender that they didn't have in the triangle, including the stick lift, the adjustability, and the ability to just fold the entire system and take it to go. Not only that, but the thing actually just looks 10 times better. It's got a nice logo, got some stickers, some paint. Everything on it looks very, very solid and fine-tuned. On the old triangle, you're stuck in one spot, you can't adjust it, you can't fold it up, and it just looks like a disaster, let's be honest. Enough talking though, let's move on into the actual important part of this video and that is how it performs at the rink. I'm going to be taking both of these things out to the roller rink, doing some stick handling, some shooting, some basic drills to hopefully get a feel as to which is the better value. One thing we should probably mention before we jump into this thing is the price difference. Now you are getting a much, much higher end product by the looks of it, but the Defender is going to cost you two times as much, up to $100. $120, whereas the triangle is only $60. Now, is it actually worth paying double? Is it going to last two times as long? Are you going to get two times the use out of it? That's the question we're going to figure out today. So let's go ahead and hop on outside and see how this performs. See you soon. Woo! 
All right, here we are. We are out at the rink and we have our defender and our triangle set up side by side here so we can see exactly what we are working with. Honestly, there's not really too much to these products, so I'm just gonna be stick handling around. I've got a couple balls, a couple green biscuits. We're just gonna try these things out and I will give you guys my thoughts at the end of this video. That being said, I think that's about it for me. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll see you soon. guys I think the products kind of speak for themselves there they're both going to be very useful in helping you improve your stick handling and to simulate that on ice defender but there is a big difference in the build quality and the stability of these things the triangle while it will probably help you with your stick handling is going to give you some issues when you try to stick lift it the whole thing basically explodes with the defender as you guys saw I could stick lift this thing three four five times in a row without it falling over and I could go straight to the net come back do it again while it still stays strong for that reason alone I think going up to the defender is probably worth the price just because you're gonna get a lot more realistic use out of it and you're not gonna get as frustrated when you're stick handling especially during those longer sessions you're gonna be able to do what you want to do and keep this thing on its feet both products are good and they're gonna help you with your stick handling but I love what hockey shot is doing they have a product they saw some faults in it and they decided to upgrade it and bring us something brand new that I think this is gonna be my go-to training tool I'm not gonna tell you guys which one you should buy or not buy just keep your budget into consideration if you want something a little cheaper go with the triangle if you want something more sturdy maybe something that'll last longer you should probably stick with the defender as always I'll put a link in the description below that will take you straight to hockey shots website where you can kind of browse all the training stuff they had hope you guys have fun this summer going out there training and getting some better dangles anyways I think that about sums it up for this video I hope you guys found it somewhat helpful if you did be sure to hit it with a like Subscribe if you haven't. You have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.